Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, Team I fix it all. Uh, today I want to review the exhaust expander made by Lyle or Lisley. I got mine from Rock Auto, but I had to engrave the part number on it. And there's the brand L I S L E. And the whole kit is a 34400. And it doesn't come to you all broke down like this. Uh, you got two sets of dies. Uh, one set of exhaust dies that um, expand, um, I think, all the way out to three and a quarter inch. But I'm going to grease up uh, my uh, bearing here because this thing has a. A tapered roller bearing just like in a hub assembly of a Ford um, hub and I'll grease that up and prep up and we'll try to shoot through a, a pipe and expand it a little bit let me get some grease here I'll pack this bearing When you pack bearings, you want to scrape it up into the crevice. Turn this light on here. Dang it. That might help a little bit. You got that empty crevasse. You want to scrape it in like that. They make a tool to pack these. Every time I break it out, they end up using excess grease. Um, some people who work around bearings a lot, they can just guess how much grease they need to pull out and put in the palm of their hand. <clears throat> but you're supposed to be massaging it into the back side up through here, and it traces right up through the channels and starts appearing at the top that's when you know you can stop i won't spend a lot of time on doing this super proper this isn't a full duty bearing going in your car I can also feel the friction when I know I'm getting grease up in the channels. But this is how you do it. You put some grease on and you keep working it in until you have no more grease on you. You're transferring it into the bearing. Just keep working it in like that. I just keep a little bit in the palm of my hand right there, store it, and I just keep working it in. See how it's starting to come out? Well, actually, you can't see that. I can. I'm going to cheat a little bit. No, I shouldn't need to cheat. It's showing up. I don't know, but if you want to know how to properly pack roller bearings, I bet there's some uh, <clears throat> Temkin tapered roller bearing training videos. Especially if you want to do it right. That should be good enough. Oh yeah, it's real tight. Okay. Here's the receptacle that it sits in. It's got a race already pressed into it for you. I'll just drop that in there. I'll get rid of this excess. Clean myself up a little bit. Find a shop rag. I better leave that out for a second.
put a thin film of grease on these O-rings here. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing. It's a tiny bit better. This will be the one exhaust expander that you buy one time in a, uh, like in my garage. I fix my own personal stuff or I fix other people's stuff occasionally. All right, so let's get this die assembled. Um, anybody who's interested in buying this tool... I recommend. Yeah, I, I would go. I would go to Rock Auto and get theirs. These can be installed wrong, so you got to pay attention to your die orientation and study it a little bit. It'll come to you assembled, but study it and uh, become familiar with the orientation of the die. this rubber on here. Yay. <clears throat> there. I will fight it on and then okay fine. I'll do three. I think I'll do three. Turn. And I'll try to sneak this one in the correct orientation. Okay. And kerchunk. Got that one on. Let's see if this one's a little bit more cooperative. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to be expanding this stuff. I'm going to see what size that is. Because I honestly forgot. <clears throat> it's approximately... I don't know if that's what's classified as two and a quarter or not. It's two and a quarter ID. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, expanding it just enough to go over top of this one that's in the vise here. Just to couple it. Just to show you. Get this out of the way. bolt in, put the die on, I'm going to add a little bit of grease to the inside or should have done that beforehand, add a little grease to these threads too. As you can see, these are pretty heavy-duty parts. Very good fine thread machine threads. This means it gives you more mechanical leverage as you're uh, so. 
Can you see how this works? As you turn this bolt, whoops, <laughs> come on, tighten up. As you tighten the, this bolt here, this bolt, it draws this big tapered nut inboard, which complements the shape of the die that are all wedge shaped. And it expands all four out at once. It starts kind of low at first. And that might seem to feel like a problem to you, but it, it almost corrects itself after you get past a certain point. I'm going to size this up to the pipe and get it prepped. Oops, hit the camera. Pretty close. There we go. That drops right in. I've got it pre sized. I'm going to go down here and add a little bit of grease to the uh, inside of that pipe right here. I'm going to be running the air gun, and I hope I don't affect the camera, which I probably will, so I'll probably set you guys somewhere different. Grease up the inside of the pipe here. I'll also add a little bit of lube to the exterior of this. This is just to prep it. If you're doing several expansions, you might have to stop and do this a couple of more times. It's helpful. Drop that in. Get it centered and I'll prep in my air gun. I uh, hang tight. I'm going to be right back. Alrighty. So what do we got for a uh, diameter? O D. Roughly uh, 15 2.5 even. And uh, when do I stop on this? I could just guess it, but let me see what we got wall thickness a little bit of deburring needed um, something like 0 0.65 0 0.65 I gotta go 0 0.65 twice to slip over this or I've got it backwards. This needs to slip into this. Um, 0.65 times 2 is uh, uh, 1.3. But that's uh, 0.13 on top of the 2.5, which is my stopping point should be 2.63. Let me dial that in.
2.63 ish. That's probably about right. Around there. That means I'll just use this as my feeler gauge. Let me throw some air on it. If the air compressor kicks on, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to loosen it up and rotate the die a little bit because as they expand, they leave indents. Um, it's hard to explain, but it won't be a circular shape. It'll almost be hexagonal, I think. Whatever it is, there's like high points because of the die. Let me let that air compressor catch up. Hang on. Be right back. All right, we only got a little 30 gallon or 35 gallon air tank. Loosen it up again and rotate my die a little just so it keeps the circular profile. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in on what's happening. That's a wee bit better. This is what I have to do behind the scenes a little bit sometimes. I'm going to rotate it 
rotate that die a little bit more. See, I can feel the high, uh, the, well, not that, eh, wasn't that big a deal. Let the compressor catch up again. Let's go back at it again. <clears throat> jaw comes off and flips around and it becomes a pipe wrench. I don't know if you can see that or not. Cool tool. Finish it off by hand now. Yeah. Come on, air hose. I'm going to take it out and see how far along we are. Pause that and let the air compressor catch up again. Got to change the light a little bit.
told me we're a little big and a little small. That means a little bit of bashing. It might go in. I don't know. Let's check. Oh, yeah. Let me try to bump that with a couple of more bursts of air power. If I can get that. What we're dealing with is we've got some squared off sides. It's a little flattish here. Proud and fat and outy here. Flattish here. Um, so I don't want to downgrade the tool. Let me show you what kind of uh, opening we've created. See what I mean? It's just got a little bit of flatness there. That could be hammered in, but I'm just going to tweak it a little with the air gun. No biggie. While I'm here, might as well do it. I just try to center one of these dies up on that flat. That's all I'm trying to do. Maybe after I bump it a little bit more, it'll drop right in. Somebody was saying that once you drop these dies in, lift out about a sixteenth inch before you bottom it out. And I think I understand why now. There's a, you don't want this piece, I don't know, it just, they, they're saying it's better if you just find your sweet spot and then lift out about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. And after using this tool quite a bit, I agree. I don't know why I agree, but I know that it feels right for some reason. It, it has something to do with making sure th this collar doesn't grind against your exhaust pipe if it spins out. Now you can work this with just a breaker bar too. This tool, I can show you what that looks like. Um, we're like so close. I'm probably just going to finish her off with a, the slow method. But it's nice to know that you don't need air tool. You can figure out how to do this with just brute force. Find out where the high spot is. And this is really not your average Joe's exhaust pipe either. This is thick wall. Thick wall, whatever. I told you it was 0.6 uh, or is a 0.06 to 0.07 taking up my slack can't stand the sound of a leaky air hose Give me the socket.
feel compelled to go a couple of more. I feel like I should go a little bit more. I got greasy hands too. Shabby. Took me a minute, but I'll let you see the coupling. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Let me move over here where we got better light edge. Take this out of the way. Reset it away. you down a little bit the coupling is what you want to see I'm hitting things in the overhead and not a bad looking uh, not a bad looking coupling Flare looks pretty decent. I was just being real tedious with it. <clears throat> While it's on your vehicle, though, yeah, look at the the light can tell you what it's doing. You can see that rotating the die around in different spots. Levels out the... Uh, stretching of the metal not too shabby i like the tool a lot you guys um hope you enjoyed this that's uh lyle exhaust expander and this thing is warm as hell right now it's been under some duty but I'm sure you want to see this part. I think you do. Let's take a look at the condition of the bolt. All the threads that were exposed, by the way, were the threads doing the duty. But let's take a look at the threads. Because a lot of your exhaust pipe expanders, that's their weak link. Is the, uh, I don't need this here anymore. Uh, 
I've had some of the cheapy ones. I've got an outline here on the garage wall of tools. Uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put my finger right there. Come on. Get out of the way. Does anybody recognize this shape? that type of tool you can buy and they're usually like 10.99 18.99 39.99 um i had one of those that worked really well for many years i like this a lot it does the job I just did it on really what's considered to be high quality exhaust pipe. Again, it was like 0 .070, 70 thousandths. I'll pull my die off. You can check out the condition of the die. And you can check out the condition of tilt this camera down a little bit and check out the threads every thread is in really good shape all right let's put this video to bed i hope you guys enjoyed if you uh like what I'm doing, comment. Um, if you don't, comment. Either way, you guys have a great day. See ya.